My name is David and I'm using this AJS Ion camera since more than seven or even eight years now. And I'm going to tell you and trying, I'm gonna try to explain why I still use this old camera in 2024 and why I won't sell it uh, never ever and why I am still working with this camera. And as you know, when when this camera has been put on market and it, it, it has been a flop and it's I think completely normal because they have built such a good camera but they just forgot something and this thing is really important they did not work on the gamma curve they just released the camera that was shooting in linear and with no gamma log gamma curve inside and there are of course few kind of gamma built in the camera but they are all shitty and these all things result by you know a poor dynamic range rendition of the sensor and at the beginning they wanted the people to to try this fucking Xiong, so they sent this camera all over the world like this, take the cam, do something, and if you like it, you keep it, and if you don't like it, you send the camera back uh, to USA. But I think the people, they, they don't even know what was a linear gamma curve, which is a straight line from zero to hundred. and. <laughs> And the result is awful because, uh, you know, when you are looking on YouTube, you, if you type AJ Scion camera on YouTube, you're going to see tons of horrible clips and it looks like one, you know, shitty $100 uh, action camera, frankly. And I don't know why AJ did not work on the proper log curve and I, you know, I wrote them many emails and I even told them if you want we can work together because I'm the guy who figured it out how to work with this camera inside DaVinci Resolve using the, the, the color space transform where you can choose uh, to go from this or this gamma into another one or this color space into another one. And lastly, like still a couple of weeks ago or months, I don't remember exactly, I wrote them again and I, I told them I know how to make this camera work. Please, can you update your firmware or if you don't want, because they told me, oh, you know, I'm not working anymore on this camera sorry so i told them give me the source code of your firmware and i will do it uh, and if i need to pay someone to do it i will do it because that's that's such a good camera that has a color rendition that that, that is so organic so celluloid and and this is this is what I want to shoot and, and if it's not this camera, it's going to be, if I have to choose, you know, if I'm working on a narrative work or um, music video and if they don't want this camera, it's Ari. That's it. I won't use BMPCC with like a Christmas tree, even if I have three BMPCCs OG, you know, I, I have those camera too. But um, that's not the way I like to shoot. I want something rock solid and that I can use with one V mount battery, one EVF or LCD screen and one SDI cable. Punto period. And and that's and and, and of course with a, a good final output. So let's go back just a <laughs> few sentences before I was telling you that AJA told me, no, we cannot give you the firmware because inside, you know, there is something confidential. So what's confidential? <laughs> How to know? 
So what I did is I have um, learned how to code and develop um, DCTL plugin in DaVinci Resolve. And I have built a custom log curve, log gamma curve for this camera. And then I have, you know, apply a custom and parametric tone mapping that gives us a very smooth roll off in the highlights. And um, I also tweak the matrix a little bit to get uh, a very nice result in the skin tones. So in my next video, I'm going to show you the maths that I have injected in the code, how it works, where to install it, and then you will discover um, the, how the, the picture is good on this camera. And that's it. So stay tuned and watch the second video. Ciao.